What's up, single arm athletes? Logan here. I want to go over today rope climbs. More specifically, the appropriate progressions to be able to start to do one arm rope climbs. First things first, we need to make sure we have good grip strength. The rope is an odd object, so it's kind of weird to hold on to something like this. To make sure that we can even progress to try to hold on here, start with a pull up bar. We focus on an effective, good dead hang, being able to hold grip solid here. Another aspect I like for athletes to demonstrate in order to be most efficient on the rope is being able to get to the top of a pull up and hold with that bent elbow. So being able to be here and hold, even if it's just for three to five seconds, is gonna go a long way in being efficient on the rope as we create our pull. Now the most important part of the rope climb, biggest misconception, is that this is about your arms. Not at all the case. Rope climb is all about the feet, the legs. It's more of a squat movement than it is a pulling movement. Reason being, our foothold. Now there's two different types of footholds. The one that I use, the one that I find most effective for me, is this kind of scoop technique with the J-hook in the front. So grab the rope and we can start by sitting on a box. This is the first progression to work on this foothold. Grab the rope in front of us. I find the rope with my shin, keeping the rope in between my legs, find it with my shin, push the foot out, and then the right foot for me scoops underneath my left foot, wrapping around on top of my left foot. And what I do with the excess rope, it's easy for the rope to then want to drift outside of your legs. I try to pinch it with my knees. This allows the rope to stay inside my legs and allows it to get close to my body so that we're not way out here trying to slide our hand up the rope. For a one-arm athlete, that's really important. We want to keep that rope as close to our body as possible so we can just stand up. And the arm will slide up. And this is why that, that hold at the top of the pull-up is important. Because we want to be able to pull as we bring our feet up. Reposition the hook here. And then once again, pull your legs up underneath your butt so you can shimmy up the rope. And then to come down, don't just release your feet, slowly separate your feet a little bit. It allows you to have a controlled descent. Another aspect I think is important in order to make sure that we get the biggest pull on the rope, and a good way to practice, is almost like a toes to bar technique. Being able to make sure that on a pull up bar, we can dead hang, we can also pull our knees up high. It's a big core engagement. So what that looks like if we take the box away, the most efficient way to do the rope, Start underneath it, you jump, and you get a big pull. You pull your knees up to your chest as much as you can. Jump, pull those knees up, get that foothold, put them underneath your butt, get me all the way up. That is the way I do one arm rope climbs. I found it most effective. Give it a try. You don't have to master the pull, being able to pull up on the pull up bar. You can leave the arms straight and just focus on grip strength. Do the foothold. Stand up, straight arm, do the foothold, stand up. It's another scaling method. Give it a try and let me know what you think.